Camtech Gwalior is a multidisciplinary centralized training center under the Ministry of Railways. This center develops technical publications and manuals on various railway assets and provides training through seminars and webinars thereby assisting the maintenance team in improving the reliability and efficiency of the system. This video is related to the maintenance and testing of the shunt capacitor SC and series reactor SR under the series of electrical assets maintenance in 132 kV to 27 kV conventional railway traction substations. Requirements of capacitor bank and series reactor the power factor PDF of the conventional electric locomotive is low and ranges between 0.7 to 0.8 lagging. State electricity utilities penalize for this low power factor, so the power factor of traction loads is improved by installing shunt capacitor bank at TSS. Series reactor provided in the circuit to limit the inrush current of capacitor bank and filters a part of the harmonics generated by the traction loads also. Connection of capacitor bank and series reactor The terminal of capacitor bank is connected to the 25 kV common bus bar through the switching and protective devices with a reactor in series and the neutral point of capacitor bank is solidly earthed. The capacitor bank consists of groups of individual capacitor units connected in a series parallel combination to deliver the rated output at rated system voltage and frequency. The series reactor is connected in series with a capacitor bank and shall have inductive reactance equal to or greater than 13% of the capacitive reactance of the capacitor bank. The rating of shunt capacitor and series reactor used in a conventional traction substation TSS, are Maintenance of capacitor bank The periodic maintenance of the capacitor bank is carried out in the following schedules Quarterly, half yearly and annually Quarterly schedule in the quarterly schedule of the capacitor bank, perform activities like cleaning, checking for any leakage and bird cages in around the capacitor bank, etc. Half yearly schedule In the half yearly schedule of the capacitor bank, perform activities like checking tension on connectors, observe the current and voltage for at least 24 hours, thermography, etc. in addition to quarterly schedule activities. Annually Schedule In the annually schedule performs activities like tightening the fasteners and the connectors, measuring the insulation resistance and the capacitance value of the individual capacitor units, etc. in addition to half-yearly and quarterly schedule activities. Maintenance of Series Reactor The periodic maintenance of the series reactor is carried out in the following schedules. Monthly Half yearly and annually. Monthly schedule of series reactor. In the monthly schedule of series reactor, perform activities like cleaning, checking for any damages, tightness of bushing connection, earthing connection, and terminal connections, etc. Half yearly schedule of series reactor. In the half yearly schedule of series reactor, perform activities like thermography, etc., in addition to monthly schedule activities. Annually schedule of series reactor. In the annual schedule of series reactor, performs activities like insulation resistance testing of winding, tightness of earthing connection and terminal connections, etc., in addition to half yearly and monthly schedule activities. Safety precautions before maintenance For the safety of equipment and personnel, ensure that Switch off the power supply by the opening circuit breaker and isolation to be done by opening isolators and then provide discharge rods at both ends of capacitor bank or series reactor under maintenance and discharge the residual charges and also ensure the use of personal protective equipment for safety such as electrical grade shoes, helmets, etc. Precautions before testing While performing the tests following precautions shall be taken care. Maintenance of capacitor bank 
many activities that have to be performed during the maintenance of the capacitor bank. Clean the insulators thoroughly with a dry cotton cloth and observe for any dielectric leakage seepage. Also, observe for any bird cages and check for any abnormal temperature rise. Check all the connections and their tightness including earthing connections. Paint the metallic portion except connection terminals if the color is faded or rusted. Testing of Capacitor Bank As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be carried out at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Insulation Resistance Test The main objective of this test is to know the condition of the insulation of individual capacitor units. This is a DC voltage injection test method and for this test, we require a 2.5 kV insulation tester. Open the HV side connection and internal unit connections and disconnect neutral CT from the capacitor bank. Steps for testing Here we are conducting the insulation resistance test of the individual unit of the capacitor bank. Now connect the line terminal of the tester to the terminal of the capacitor unit and earth terminal of the tester to equipment earthing through leads. After that check the connections and select the test voltage level to 2.5 kV of the tester. Finally, the setup is ready to perform the test. Now, as we press the test button, a DC voltage is applied across the capacitor unit terminal and earthing terminals, as a result, Leakage current will flow in the circuit and the tester will measure this leakage current and calculates the insulation resistance by the ratio of applied voltage and measured leakage current. Record the displayed value of IR in mega ohms and compare the value with the earlier record or OEM recommendations. If found less, investigate the issue and rectify it. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Measurement of Capacitance by Multimeter The main objective of this test is to check the start of the deterioration cycle of the capacitor units. Use a digital multimeter capable of recording reading in microfarad up to the first decimal place. Open the HV side connection and internal unit connections and disconnect neutral CT from the capacitor bank. Steps for testing Here we are measuring the capacitance value of an individual capacitor unit. Move the selector switch of multimeter to the microfarad range on capacitance marking. Now connect the capacitance terminal of the multimeter to the one terminal of the capacitor unit and connect the common terminal of the multimeter to another terminal of the capacitor unit through leads. Now, the multimeter display shows the measured capacitance value, record the value and compare the value with the earlier record or recommended value. If found beyond permissible limit, investigate the issue and rectify it maintenance of series reactor. Many activities that have to be performed during maintenance on series reactor. Clean the insulators and reactor thoroughly with a dry cotton cloth and observe for any damages, flash marks or chipping insulators. Check and tight the bolts and nuts of top and bottom connectors. Replace the rusty or overheated bolts and nuts if necessary. Check coil visually for warmth. If warm, find out the reason and attend it. Painting to be done if the color of the body is faded. Testing of Series Reactor As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be carried out at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Insulation Resistance Test The main objective of this test is to know the condition of insulation of winding of series reactor. This is a DC voltage injection test method and we require a 2.5 kV insulation tester for this test. Open both side HV or coil connections of the series reactor. Steps for testing Here we are conducting a test for series reactor winding to earthing. Now connect the line lead of the tester to the HV terminal i.e. coil terminal. 
and earth lead of the tester to equipment earthing. After that check all the connections and select the test voltage level to 2.5 kV. Finally, the setup is ready to perform the test. Now, as we press the test button, a DC voltage is applied across the HV and earthing terminals, which causes the flow of earth leakage current in the circuit and the tester will measure this leakage current and calculates the insulation resistance by the ratio of applied voltage and measured leakage current. Record the displayed value of IR in mega ohms and compare the value with the earlier record or OEM recommendations. If found less, investigate the issue and rectify it. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Thermography of capacitor bank and series reactor. Thermal scanning shall be done separately not at the time of the maintenance. Thermography is used to predict or identify defects and to rectify the same by carrying out preventive maintenance before in-service failure of equipment. Since analysis is based on the relative temperature of subcomponents instead of ambient temperature. Therefore, images of the complete assembly should be taken. Checking should be carried out at the night time and the concerned component shall be under load. Limit for temperature variation and duration for rectification of issue is given in the table. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference.